Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to print first and last character first and last character of array. The first and last character. See, suppose if I'm taking one array, array, for example, array name, I'm taking language, language, which contains, for example, one array, array with a number of elements. For example, here it is, I'm taking that name is a servlets. I'm taking servlets, I'm taking. Suppose this is the string, nothing but character array. And here one point you need to understand here. There is an index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the total length is a 8. Whenever you just find out that language dot length equals to 8. See, you have to display the first character. First character is in 0th location. And the last character is a 7th location. But as a programmer, directly you should not print 7th location. Always you should go with length minus 1 location. That is the best practice. See, how can we display? This is the way. The first character is... We can display that language of zero. This is fixed that no one can change. But whenever it is last character, last character, the total length minus one. See, everyone will confuse like this. First, better you take into one variable n equals to language dot length. That is eight. N value eight. So eight minus one language of n minus 1 you can give n minus 1 n value 8 8 minus 1 is a 7 let me show you with the code so that you will understand clearly i am taking the character array character array each character i am writing I'm taking like this. Now I'm displaying the first character. So directly system.out.println that first character is first character just char array I'm taking or the same thing. So what I'm showing in the diagram if I want to follow just language any name you can use language of zero. This is easy. We can print the first character. I just want to display the last character. See, this is not the best practice. Last character, we cannot count every time. And you cannot write like this. In seventh location, of course, that last character is there. Right? Suppose if you don't know the length, if you are reading from the user, when we don't know the length. So the best practice is what? First, find out the length into variable n. So what is the total length find out? Now the total length, it will give 8. Then instead of using 7, no hard coding. Don't give the values directly. This we are giving that n minus 1. Giving the value n. n minus 1. 8 minus 1 is a 7. So now it will give that value. Sir, again, the same story. I don't want to waste the memory by declare, taking one more variable. Why can't we write that language dot length directly in place of n? Yes. You can use like this. In a single line, you can write the code. Language dot length. See, here it is also language is there. Most of the students confuse directly. They will use just length minus one. You can't write only just length minus one. You will get the error message. Everyone is doing the mistake. Right. Initially, you have to find that language L A N G dot length. Eight minus one seven. So now you will get the output exactly. This is the way we are printing the first character 
and the last character of array. Hope you understood. Please practice and check the output. Okay, thank you.